digital skills toolkit is an essential when we are trying to deliver um, support to member states, particularly for the skills development and bridging the gap. Because there is a proverb that says, spoken word flies and written word stays. So it is important for the member states to have a step-by-step -step process which they can follow and also the reference point where they can get the essential guidelines to know how to deal with every situation and how to deliver in a systematically certified way uh, assistance to member states and to the population to bridge the digital skills gap. Uh, I will give you uh, an example. During the Global Symposium for Regulators that we held recently in Kampala, Uganda, we launched what we called regulatory guidelines, also for the regulators to be able to have reference material uh, and understand how they proceed when they get caught up in a challenge. And that is important for all the regulators to have some reference materials that is based on fact and a proven scientific methodology that we use when we develop materials like that. So the skills, uh, digital skills toolkit is very important for member states and uh, it is an essential guideline that will provide them guidelines, first of all, when they formulate public policy, second, when they put in place a regulatory framework, and third, when they adopt strategies uh, to bridge the gap. And that is very important for us. It is a critical uh, part of the jigsaw puzzle.